In this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate the pH of a buffer solution when some acid is added to it. So we're going to do a worked example. And we've got a question here that's got a lot of numbers in, but let's just focus on the key ideas. We've got a buffer solution, which is made from some methanoic acid, which is a weak acid. And we've also got some sodium methanoate that's going to be the conjugate base. And you'll notice that it's a 1dm cubed solution. So that will mean that your moles here is also going to be a concentration. And then we're doing it at a standard temperature of 25 degrees. And the question is, by how much will the pH change if we add some hydrochloric acid to it? So let's start with the first step. So what you need to do to start with is calculate the pH of the buffer solution before you add any acid. So what was the original pH? You can't calculate the change in pH until you know the original pH of your buffer solution. So to do this, we need to first look up the pKa value. And so when you look up the pKa value for methanoic acid, you will get this value here. You can also find pKa from the Ka. So if you looked up the Ka value of methanoic acid, you would get this value. And you can convert that to a pKa value by simply doing minus log to the base 10 of your Ka value. The next step is we need to start using an equation. So the equation for pH is simply your pKa plus your log to the base 10 again of your conjugate base divided by your conjugate acid concentration. These square brackets, of course, mean concentration. You may have seen this equation with a minus, but if there was a minus there, these two would just be swapped around. So this is the same equation. You may have seen it differently, but it's actually exactly the same. So all we need to do is substitute the values that we're told. So we've got 3.75 for the pKa. We know that this is the concentration of our weak acid. We know it's a concentration because we've got a 1dm cubed solution. So you're basically doing this many moles divided by 1 to get moles per dm cubed. And so that number is not going to change. Normally, you would have to actually do the calculation to find the concentration from your volume and your number of moles. But in this case, it's a little bit simpler because we've got exactly 1dm cubed. We know that this is the conjugate base here, so we can just substitute our 1.84 times 10 to the minus 2 for the concentration of A minus. So we can just substitute those values from the question in there. And when we evaluate this, and you ought to take care, remembering that this is log to the base 10, substitute carefully into your calculator, and you'll end up with this value for the pH. So this is the pH for a buffer solution before we've added any acid to it. The next step is we need to do some moles calculations to do with the hydrochloric acid. And you'll notice that we've got five centimeters cubed of the hydrochloric acid, and we've got a concentration. And you should also be aware that you've got centimeters cubed and you've got dm cubed. And so you need to make sure that you're working in consistent units. So this centimeters cubed is going to have to be converted. So our moles of acid is going to be our concentration of 0 0.1 times our volume, but we're dividing by a 1,000 to convert it so there's consistent units in the calculation. And when we evaluate that, we've now got the moles of the acid that has been added. So we need to adjust our previous values. So our new concentration of our weak acid, we're going to have to add the moles of acid to that. And then to work out our new conjugate base concentration, we need to subtract the moles of acid. And that gives us this new value here. So we've now got everything we need to be able to calculate our new pH. So we know the pKa, and we know the equation, which is exactly the same as our previous equation. So we can substitute in the values that we previously calculated. And then when we evaluate this, we get a new pH value. Our previous pH that we calculated for the buffer was 3.64, and we've changed to a pH of 3.62. Remember, we've added some acid. So if you add some acid, you're making it more acidic. So you'd expect the pH to decrease slightly, but the solution's buffered. So you wouldn't expect it to decrease an enormous amount. And you're adding a very small amount of acid. So you wouldn't expect that to be out with the buffering capacity. So we can calculate the change very simply by simply subtracting these two values. And so the pH has changed by 0 0.02. And you could say it's a decrease, so you may say minus 0 0.02. So I hope this video was helpful to you, and you can now calculate the change in pH of a buffer solution 
And if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.